This morning's a little cool and crisp. We've got some sunshine to start off, but could have a few pop up showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder. So something to watch out for as we head into the afternoon. This uh, kind of recap the month of May. It was the ninth warmest May on record. We were four and a half degrees above normal. So the warmest May in four years, the warmest ever was back in 1977. So certainly uh, quite a toasty month, but also it was a dry month. We were well below average in terms of rainfall. We normally pick up about 3.4 inches. We were just under two inches of rain, making a deficit of over an inch and a third. The driest since 2010, we go back to 1988, where it wasn't even a tenth of an inch of rainfall. So focusing at things ahead, we are expecting to have a slightly above average chance of rainfall heading into the next six to 10 days. So that's at least some benefit as those farmers are continuing to grow those crops, but also with it, cooler than average temperatures are going to accompany that as well. So if you're a fan of those 80s and 90s, this forecast is not for you coming up. We've got an area of low pressure and an associated cold front that's moving off to the east and along that frontal boundary. We are going to have a few showers and a couple rumbles of thunder. That's why the Storm Prediction Center does have highlighted across the central and northern part of the state the general risk of thunderstorms this afternoon because we'll have a little bit of instability in the atmosphere that could spark off a few of these showers and storms. So Skycast is showing us starting off nice and sunny this morning. As we head into the afternoon, we will start to see a few fair weather cumulus clouds fill in here. And then by the afternoon, four, five o'clock or so, we'll start to see a few little pop ups on radar. A couple sprinkles, but maybe even a rumble of thunder. This continues to about seven, eight o'clock. But once the sun really starts to set, all this activity will come to an end as well. And behind it will turn mostly clear. Friday is going to be a nice and sunny day. We'll have temperatures warming up into the upper 60s and lower 70s. And then on Saturday, clouds will start to increase and we will have the chance of a few light rain showers based exactly where that sets up remains a question. But then it does appear as you head towards Sunday that a rain band will start to move farther and farther northward and encompass more of the entire viewing area. So in terms of just this little stretch of rain oh, later this afternoon and evening, not expecting much as you can see a little streak. So not everyone's going to see the rain, but whoever does might see a brief and heavy downpour. 51 outside. We've got a wind out of the west at three miles per hour dew point of 46. So it's a nice and dry air mass. We've got a sunrise at 510 and a sunset at 831 and it is cool across the entire viewing area. We've got 43 in mountain, but it's a little warmer in Shano 50 degrees. We've got 54 in Wapaka, 46 in Ephraim, 47 in Sheboygan and 50 in Kiwani. Winds light and variable right now, but we will start to see them pick up just a little bit as we head into the afternoon coming in out of the west at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Watch out for a pop up shower or storm getting up to about 76. Then for tonight, we'll cool off into the lower 50s. Winds coming in out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour, partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, we should have partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. High temperatures in the lower 70s. Some areas might not even break 70, to be honest. Breezy winds out of the northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Seven day forecast. A chance of rainfall moves in here on Saturday. Same thing on Sunday. Maybe a sprinkle as you head into Monday, but it looks like a better chance of some rain showers as we head into next week, Wednesday, with high temperatures remaining below average for next six of the seven days. All right, well, to be on the lookout for those pop up storms, Gino, thank you. Still ahead, Aaron.